Well, the feds hope to discourage other states from following Arizona's lead when the feds filed a lawsuit challenging Arizona's new immigration law. So how's that working exactly? Well, today, candidates in, uh, for governor in more than 20 states are making a new push for laws styled after Arizona's. And many go even further than Arizona's law, actually hoping to make it harder for illegals to live, work, and gain access to benefits in their states. Mike Gallagher is a Fox News contributor. Ray, Rob Thompson is a radio talk show host, and they both are my guests now. So, Mike, what does that tell us? Is there a backlash now? Do you think the feds and, and their, you know, sort of protectionism of some illegals, you know, approach is, is doing more harm than good? I mean, Megan, the feds are up against the whole country. I mean, th this is just proof positive. I've been saying this for five years, that the single issue that ignites Americans is the problem of illegal immigration. It has many tentacles. I mean, it, it impacts national security. It impacts the economy. And so I think now, finally, here in the, in the nearly fall of 2010, the country has woken up and is saying, no mas, we are not going to put up with it. And Arizona was right. Obama and the feds are out of touch with the, what, the, what the American people want to do, and we're just going to continue to see a hurricane, to borrow your earlier story, of, of resentment over, over the lax immigration laws we've had, and we want enforcement, and states around the country are going to start doing just what Arizona has done. It's a, it's a new dawn, and, and, and we're seeing this every day. Rob, there are 37 governor's races going on right now in 20-plus. Mm -hmm. That uh, a law has been proposed and backed by candidates. Uh, that is either equal to or more stringent than Arizona's. I mean, what do you say about that? What does it tell us? Well, it tells us several things. Uh, first of all, it, it, it tells us uh, that Mike now learns a little bit of Spanish. I'm glad he does, that living in Dallas. No moss. Thank you very much. And uh, uh, also thoughts and prayers to all those on the East Coast uh, as the Earl heads their way. Uh, we're all with you. But as we look toward sure. the, the gubernatorial elections, this is straight out of the Republican playbook. First, let's find a, a, an issue that grabs a little bit of traction. And Jan Brewer certainly did that with SB 1070. It grabbed traction, but we know it's all, all unconstitutional. And it's not going to pass muster. But what it has done is shown that those Republicans, those highly energized Tea Party types that are after a party to see who can one-up themselves and go after the easiest target. Who are we afraid of the most? Well, let's look at somebody that's different from our base. Let's look at the, the immigrants. Oh, so we'll create a, a bit of fear. Secondly, we're going to fabricate and we're going to manipulate the news to make sure you are very afraid of these people because they're there to take your job and while they're there, they're going to loot and pillage while they're around you. And then finally, let's catch up with a, with a Perfect slogan. Well, let's come up with something nice like anchor babies. That sounds scary enough. That, that'll get us elected. They're going to leave babies behind so that they get, can take Rob, advantage of all of the, the Rob, care that's possible. It is out of America, the playbook ahead, that we've seen from the Republican Party for years and years. Yeah. We're not, Americans aren't buying what you're selling anymore, Rob. You guys have tried that narrative that us evil Republicans want to demonize people of color, you know, anchor babies. Hey, uh, what's wrong with resenting the fact that we know there are thousands of people who are coming here to have babies on American soil so they can get their foothold in the American way of life without following the rules? Rob, you guys are corrupt in terms of embracing the, the lawlessness that is illegal immigration. So these gubernatorial candidates are hearing the people and they're rejecting this tired old narrative, this victimization thing you guys on the left come up with. It, it's not, it's not going to work anymore, Rob. You've you got to sing another tune. But let, let me just ask you this, Rob, because it's not just the Republicans who are running for governorships who are touting laws like Arizona's. I mean, take Georgia, for example, where the Democratic nominee Roy yes. Barnes has endorsed an Arizona-style law. Other states as well. In Massachusetts, both the Republican and the Independent are pushing an Arizona-style law. We've seen it in several states across the country, not just the red states. It's, it's not just sort of the evil Republicans, as you point out. It's also, I guess, the evil Democrats and the evil Independents who more and more seem to favor an Arizona-style law. Uh, well, certainly uh, evil was never part of, the, of the, the, what, what I meant to say. What I'm talking about is, is politics as playbook. And whether you're a Democrat or an independent or a Republican, if you're running in a primary, you have to one-up the person that you're running against. So if one person says, I'm anti-immigration, not only are you anti-immigration, but I am anti-them uh, being able to get driver's licenses. Or I'm for spending more money, which we absolutely don't have. And even if, if we ask for it, the Republicans wouldn't allow us but to get it But you know what anyway, I think is interesting? I, I just want to get you guys to weigh in on this, because I, I think 
think, you know, th this issue has gotten so heated, and it's obviously in the wake of Arizona's uh, immigration law, which that brings me back to my original question, Mike, which is, would this be a national issue if the Department of Justice had just left it alone? I mean, the latest poll that we got out of CBS News shows that 73% 73, 73 of the country either thinks the Arizona law is about right or thinks it doesn't go far right. enough. So you got 73% well, of the point. country. So, so my, my question is, again, did the DOJs, did the feds attempt to raise this as a national issue wind up backfiring on the Democrats? Oh, I, I think we're seeing that, Megan. I mean, the, the, I think if the Justice Department had left Arizona alone, listen, Rob and his side can scream about the unconstitutionality of trying to establish if somebody is a legal resident of this country or not. All they want, people know what the Arizona law says. They've learned it. They've read it. They know that if, a, if there's a traffic stop and you can't produce your documents, guess what? You're going to be turned over to the feds. That's the way it ought to be. And so, and so yes, I think that in a big way, the Obama administration has it shot its itself in the foot by, by making a big federal case out of this. If they'd have let Arizona alone, it wouldn't have re reached the level of volatility that it has. But now Americans are angry. Mer Americans resent yeah. the heck out of the lawsuit against Arizona, and it has backfired. Rob, oh. quick, quick response to that, because we had Joe Trippi earlier acknowledging that people are probably ticked off about the health care law. And the, and the question is, are they also maybe ticked off about the Arizona lawsuit? Well, if they're ticked off about the Arizona lawsuit, then we've got a significant problem because the federal government did exactly what they did. They went in and they defended the Constitution. And it, it, when you oh, do that, on. that's what the federal government is supposed to do. The overlap was there. <laughs> and from the very beginning, Jan Brewer knew exactly what she was doing. This was a political maneuver to gain traction in her own state and a very poorly run state at that. No. So let's not okay. blame the rest of the country's anger at immigration on Arizona. That okay. is, is an entirely different issue. Gotta leave By the way, that. Megan, how'd I do with my, did you notice I had pink eye today? Hey, Megan, I'm you, doing this with pink eye. I'm really? sacrificing for you guys. Wow, that's that impressive. Awesome? I'm I so glad you're eye. not in studio. Uh, thank you, gentlemen, <laughs> both of you. All the best. We appreciate it. Right, Feel Megan, better, Mike. Bye. Good day, Megan. Thanks. Bye.